Hey, welcome to another mobile gamer episode of geekoutdoors.com. Castlevania. Yes, Castlevania is a classic, uh, and it still is today in some respects. Uh, and what most people don't realize if they're not really familiar of the origins of Castlevania is that it originally started as an arcade game. In this case, uh, it was called Haunted Castle uh, by Konami. And um, this is a, I didn't even know this, you know, I, I grew up uh, playing the original Nintendo game, Castlevania 1, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, and then Castlevania 3. Uh, that's what uh, I grew up with. And so I never knew that there was a Castlevania arcade game because it wasn't, at least here in the U.S., it wasn't really popular. Uh, but when I did get to play it, uh, I had really mixed feelings about it uh, because, you know, when you were creating arcade games, they were meant to take as many quarters as possible. You know, they weren't really made for long-term play. So that's why uh, when you got the Nintendo version, um, it wasn't really anything like the arcade version, you know, one of which was the uh, hardware limits, that's for sure. But another thing was because of the fact that, you know, it wasn't meant to take quarters when you're at home. Now, graphically, it looked, this game, it looked really good, in my opinion. I mean, you gotta remember, when this game came out you know so big sprites uh very atmospheric and it's castlevania what, what can i say you know um now who would have known how much better the original uh, nintendo game would be if it had these type of graphics but with the um action rpg elements that it had wow and wow even though this is a arcade game it was pretty hard oh wow as you could see And the original title screen, the story, it kind of reminds me of Ghosts and Goblins, you know, where uh, his girlfriend or the princess or whatever it is gets uh, captured uh, instead of a demon, by this case, it's by Dracula. So let's see how far I can get. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh. Now, what I like about this one, this arcade version, uh, it's pretty fast and what I mean by that is the game just keeps you it just keeps going oh until I died so let's see how far I can get because I've, I've always loved Castlevania uh, however uh, this the arcade version eh, it's okay I mean it's not something that's really uh, memorable to me in terms of an arcade gaming experience and uh, I don't really know the history of how this became the Castlevania that we know of because it was so so different you know uh, I don't know how popular this was in Japan it had to have some popularity for them to produce a uh, Nintendo game version whoa so I'm gonna try and see if I could get to the first boss and I can't remember what the first boss was when I played this originally and you know uh, this thing like, if you notice, the enemies just kind of pop out at random. You could kind of see them, like, come out, but it's too late by that point, you know? Oh, I might not even make it to the first boss. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And the animation, uh, that's very reminiscent of what we had on the Nintendo, or actually the Nintendo's reminiscent of what happens here in the arcade. The good thing is he could take quite a few hits before he dies. Uh, the bad thing is uh, you're going to die a lot, like that. <laughs> so uh, that's basically it for uh, the Castlevania Arcade, or in this case, Haunted Castle. Um, I don't think I'm going to get very far in this unless I spend more time on it because it does have uh, a lot of elements where you have to memorize a lot of things, so that requires a lot more play time. So that, that's pretty much it for this episode. If you remember playing Haunted Castle or Castlevania Arcade, you know, leave your comments and ideas below. And if there's any other, I guess, Castlevania arcade related games that you like leave them below as well and as always uh, I am on snapchat at geek outdoors if you want to snap at me there so thanks for watching thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.